This is Ocean City State Park Group Site 2. As you can see up there, pretty good area. I got a picture of that with all of our tents set up there, uh, up on the little hill here. So uh, definitely rainy this weekend, but uh, it uh, didn't stay up there. It drains off pretty well, so that's pretty good. A uh, little bit of a muddy trail to the parking lot. They're really only room for kind of four, maybe five of us to cram into that little spot. Kind of a muddy trail coming up to it. Uh, not bad with three picnic tables. It's got a pretty good fire ring there and it does have a, uh, a grill on it. Uh, for anybody who ever does use those, uh, not so much anymore, uh, but can uh, flip over onto it. Uh, pretty well protected with the trees. Um, uh, this tree was pretty thick. It uh, was raining quite a bit. Uh, spotty, uh, but throughout the night uh, it was definitely pouring down rain. And the wind, uh, there was a pretty big storm last night, so it whipped through, but we're anchored down. Uh, even with the soft ground, it was pretty good. Um, didn't uh, lift any of our tents up. Uh, they stayed in pretty well. Uh, we had a bad mitten set. I did not get a picture of that set up right here, uh, so that was pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't play volleyball because there is a bit of a swampy marsh over here. Uh, you know, it goes off over into there where it really is just swamp. Uh, there is a slight trail here that goes down. You can sort of see a bridge down there. Uh, we explored a little bit. Uh, might go out to the beaches. We're facing west right now but didn't get too far into there to see exactly where it went. Uh, but yeah, overall it's pretty good. I do like how it was secluded uh, from everybody. Uh, the closest camp, the group site, if you see the cars there, is just past that and off to the right. There's a road over there. There are some campsites through the woods there, but they're at least a good couple hundred feet away. Uh, so overall, this was a pretty good site, uh, pretty close to the beach. Uh, like I said, I don't know if you can get through there from there, but it's just down the road. So, uh, yeah. And if you're out here, there is an arrow bee in the water there that you might find uh, because we couldn't and we tried to dig it out. All right, coming out of group site two, uh, you do have our little parking lot area here. Like I said, about four or five, maybe six if you crammed them. Got a couple of trash cans there. Obviously can't drive past here. Uh, but we had a few of us. We had three parked along there and then one kind of behind a vehicle that was right there. So uh, it's all right. Uh, you can obviously see it's pretty small and pretty muddy. Uh, you can leave, come in and leave from straight ahead there, loops around here. Just over around the corner there are the bathrooms. I'll go get a shot of those. So yeah, as you come around that corner from behind me where group site two is at, a uh, few small sites here. Uh, we saw people just kind of like parked here with little camper vans or small trailers. Uh, but off to the right here, I wanted to point this out because there's definitely a big puddle right here, but you can see where maybe sort of there where people had a volleyball net set up. So not too bad. We saw them playing there quite a bit yesterday. So that's a pretty good sight. Just off to the right is where group site two is. Ahead where you see those cars is group site one. And so anyway, just opposite that, this is where the bathrooms are at. And they're pretty nice. They do have showers, I believe on either side. They have three family bathrooms on either side as well. So. Those are pretty good. It's pretty clean, uh, pretty decent sized building, not too far away. So that's good. 